Hey, Christ Covenant Church, it's Pastor Jason. And this Sunday, we continue our series, Outsiders, Portraits and the Gospel of Luke, by looking at Jesus and the sinful woman from Luke chapter 7, verses 36 through 50. And so I want to encourage you to read this passage uh, before coming to service on Sunday and think through this sinful woman walking into a Pharisee's home and just how much of an outsider she was. And I think it's, this is a really helpful passage to ask yourself, who do you most identify with in this passage? And it's a difficult question to ask uh, for a lot of us because honestly, when I read this passage, I most identify with the Pharisee. The Pharisee sees himself as an insider when it comes to God because of his, because of his ethnicity and because of uh, the way that he grew up and the way that he had been taught and the religious upbringing that he had had. He considered himself an insider. And so as Jesus is getting more and more popular as a religious leader, it's like the Pharisee has invited Jesus into this party at his house in order to help Jesus acclimate to the insider movement of religious leaders. And in the midst of it walks a woman who is not even given a name because she's not identified by her name, but she is identified with her sin. And I would say that nowadays there are certain people, there are certain people that we would consider outsiders that are so different that are identified with their sin. Yet she comes in And she honors Jesus and his love and grace. And she receives Jesus and his love and grace in a way that none of the Pharisees in the room ever have. And so I want you to think on how this sinful woman responds to Jesus versus how the Pharisees respond to Jesus. And in this, I pray that we would understand more the heart of God for the outsider, that we would remember that we are we all start out as outsiders when it comes to God until he saves us by his grace, and that God would give us a deep understanding of how we should respond to others in our lives and in our community that we would consider outsiders for one reason or another, whether it just be the lost or whether it be someone from a different ethnicity or a different socioeconomic class, whatever that might be, that we would see the heart of God and that we would respond to others the way God responds to us in his grace. I will look forward uh, to continuing this series and worshiping Jesus Christ with you this Sunday morning.